Now I don't usually speak before I've even played the intro but this red Super Saiyan Trunks Team Zenkai is a tank. Look at the damage he takes on Vegito Blue man being a red unit. Insane. Yeah, my name's Akashi, and in this video, we are showcasing Trunks at Zenkai 7. This man is amazing, works perfectly well on the Hybrid Saiyan team, better than any other team. You're not going to put him on a future team, even though he could, and he could also fit on a Vegeta family team, but he buffs Hybrid Saiyan, so that's where he goes. Now, right now, I'm just showing you, I haven't got him fully soul boosted, however, I do have both unique abilities unlocked. But even though I don't even have him fully soul boosted, you're going to see the, the difference. Like, the difference is insane in comparison from Zenkai 1 to Zenkai 7. And even more so, without the Zenkai and to Zenkai 7. Like, this unit here, I'm, I'm honestly in love with this unit here. At Zenkai 7, it was so worth it. 1,000 chronos per every, every class. 7k chronos in total. It could have gone cheaper, depending on how lucky I was. But... That's another conversation to have, but man, this unit here, I've already spoke about him before briefly, his animations, like, I honestly feel like they're, they're my favourite in the game. When he came out, when I first uh, downloaded the game, there was the first banner that released, I'd even summon on it. I said I'm not going to summon until Trunks comes, because I've played other, other Gacha games, like I've played Boruto, uh, Naruto, Ninja Voltage, so you know how Gacha games work, you got to save your, your currency. So that you can spend it on the best thing that's going to come out in the game. And I saw that coming so I saved up for this Trunks. He's a real OG and now he's actually getting his time to shine with his Zenkai. Maybe not the best timing like I said in the Zenkai 1 showcase. Because Vegito Blue is currently running the meta. So he's actually facing a horrible meta to actually shine. Like he's not shining the way he should because of the meta. However, Hybrid Saiyans, my bias kicking in again. This is my favorite team to use. Look at this animation, man. Look, look, look at that. Look at that. Boom. KO. That is beautiful. And when, when you get the finish, it slows down. It's the most beautiful thing I've seen in this game, honestly. This game does very well with their animation. And PvP is the biggest aspect in this game that actually makes it stand out in comparison to other games. Which is why I actually play the game over any other mobile game. Or any game in general. Like, for a mobile game, it's very detailed, very advanced. A lot of fun. And... I just enjoy playing it and Trunks being my favourite character in the Dragon Ball franchise it's great using him but that's just me generally talking let's get into his stats I didn't want to go too deep into his stats because I told you I didn't fully soul boost him but his health is at 2.4 mil now that already is insane to me that's a lot of health he can actually tank rise and rushes and especially because he has a cover change factor that he uh, actually tanks 40% less damage well he takes 40% more damage so when I say that I mean that his health's not gonna go down as much basically. Uh that's in his uh second second uh, unique ability is called for once, you're right. Reduces damage received by 40% until combo ends when cover changing cover. And it also says the following effects occur when the, when activated. 20% to damage inflicted for 20 time accounts and inflicts enemy with attribute downgrade minus 40% to key recovery for 10 time accounts. Like he's just mad useful he carries one of each card he's a hybrid saiyan like i said he also has the future tag super saiyan tag and vegeta family tag because of that super saiyan tag i'm actually gonna run him with bardock and actually try out a double buff in my own way but you'll see that in a later video if you follow me on twitter you must have saw it like a maybe a sneak peek go follow me on twitter i haven't talked about my social medias but they're all on the left youtube twitter twitch reddit instagram and a discord link all in the description below so make sure you check those out if you want to follow me on those but back to Trunks, man. Um, even his special move, that burning attack, he's like he's doing hand signs, like he's from Naruto. And you know, like, my channel's based on Kakashi, but it's Zakashi. Um, if you didn't know, information for you guys. Um, my name, it starts with a Z. So, I just swapped the K. 
with um with with Kakashi, so it's Kakashi, and it sounds great to me. Anyways, it sounds great. I love it so much. And Kakashi is my favorite character, anime character of all time. But um, back to Trunks again. Uh, his special move, Burning Attack. I was talking about how like the hand signs he does is crazy. Like he's actually just like some ninja, and I mess with it so heavy. I think I'm gonna pull it off right here. Like it's just so dope to me. Maybe it's just my bias again, but um. I like it a lot the way he does that nobody else in the show like pulls off something like that in the whole show I then back to his ultimate art again slicing up Kefla did a lot of damage to Kefla there a lot just doing the job and then he's gonna finish I mean Gohan's gonna finish off um Vegito here but you see it starts lagging I, I don't know for people that be disconnecting and stuff that's probably ruining PvP the most people that cheat but it is what it is now his ultimate art we know it got the buff he has the um it nullifies people that actually have endurance so that's very good and the ultimate art actually does 30 percent more extra damage against the lineage of evil unit because you know how he sliced up freezer i gotta say this every time he beat the hell out of freezer in with ease like that super saiyan form when it first pulled up and then we saw trunks going crazy no one expected that man but let's get into his unique abilities because this is what the Zenkai 7 is really about. The Zenkai 6 as well, they, you get two unique abilities, one at Zenkai 3 and one at Zenkai 6. But Zenkai 7 just completes the amount of soul boosting you can do. So let's get into his first unique ability that you'll lock on Zenkai, Zenkai 3. It's called Future Medicine. Applies the following effects to self when this character is switched to standby, which is amazing. This is something Goku Youth does as well. Um, restores health by 15%. Now this is very useful, however... That's it only it's only really useful if you've um, taken damage first. So if you lost priority first time, then this will actually be very useful. But if not, then it'll go to waste because you have no health to regenerate because you've been dominated. But nonetheless, it's like a it's like a safety safety type thing. And I mess with it very heavy. It's actually helped me out in ways I wouldn't really notice, but pay attention to that. Then underneath it also says restores key by 20. That's every time you switch to standby. And it doesn't even matter what type of tag they are, which is what's amazing. So every unit that you switch out to from him. So I'm, I have Trunks right here after he does his ultimate arts again. Inflict that bleed. If I switch out from Trunks to... Um, Trunks Youth is going to be ready, but I'm probably going to switch out to uh, Gohan first because he's green. But I could switch back out to Trunks Youth because of that. You see there... It said no effect, but I would have gained key, but that's because I had 100 key, which is amazing. Pardon me. Um, the, the last bit, which is actually good, it, you get 10% more damage inflicted just by switching out. Now, 10% might sound little, but it makes a difference. Trust me. It makes a big difference, and you can do that up to two times. So, say if you have a character like uh, Gohan from the movies, the one that came out of LF Goten. His ultimate art actually reduces substitution count, so I could actually switch back into Trunks and switch back out very fast, and that's very useful. But that's why they limited it to uh, up to 20%, so you can only switch out twice in one go. But that's mad useful, and it doesn't change actually, so that's actually really good. Like it doesn't have work on a limit. You know how like it'll be like 10% uh, damage inflicted for X time accounts. It doesn't have that limit just like with other characters usually do which is actually pretty good now let's get on to his you uh, his his other unique ability it's called sorry freezer but i'm ca cancelling your date with goku it says applies the following effects to self when this character enters the battlefield if there's a tag hybrid say in battle member other than this character in the party plus 20 percent to damage inflicted for 15 time accounts great reduces damage received by 20 percent cannot be stacked but that's amazing as well uh, increases arts card draw speed by one level arts card draw speed is amazing and that's for 15 time accounts that means you're drawing in more cards your combo can extend and then the last bit is minus three to strike and blast arts cost for 10 time accounts so you're drawing in more cards and they're at a cheaper cost that's really useful really really useful but you're pretty much only going to use them on a hybrid team team so that's pretty much going to be the case every single time. So I mess with that unique ability a lot. 
The first one probably makes more of a difference as Zenkai 3. The second one does make a difference as well. But the first one is the one that you really want to go for at Zenkai 3. But then he also just gets stronger in general. I showed you guys the intro, the way his defenses are. Like they're set different. They're actually built different. So do not sleep on this guy at all. Now, I'm going to speak generally. Would I recommend you actually summoning for this guy? For a free to play player? No. Because there's going to be other characters that will get a Zenkai in the future. And just because of that fact, there might be someone else who you'd rather actually spend on. I know Trunks was actually reasonably cheap. 7k for a Zenkai 7 unit is not a lot. Like People spend that on whole banners. And I'm going to be honest, um, 5k of those crystals were actually free to play crystals. So I'm not going to say the full 7k was. I'll be capping. But um, overall, it's not very expensive at all. Like, I do recommend actually going for Zenkai characters now. I know some of the Zenkai characters haven't got the buff yet from the update. So characters like, um, what's an example? Kula, Beerus, the ones that I've already released previously, they still have the normal Zenkai system with the friendship and um, 300 CC that you have to spend to get them to Zenkai 7. That's going to change in November, which is unfortunate because I would have went for someone else and not Trunks. Like, I probably would have went for Kula or Boo. One of those two, definitely. But, yeah, that's all I pretty much got to say, man. Um, this unit here, I'm going to be using the Hyper Saiyan team a lot more. They actually stand up well against the Fusion team. People are very worried about Trunks uh, if you can stand up against the Fusion team. Especially because of Vegeta or Blue, but I feel like he can and he proved me well. So, yeah, I'm just going to leave it at that. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy the video, make sure to press the subscribe button. If you have any questions, leave a comment. We're on this grind to 10k. You know how it is. But well, my name's Akashi, and I'll see you guys in the next one.